because everything that has ended has also had a start. Within these two points, it is that life happens. Some people crave calmness in life, some people crave chaos and activity. Similar to people's favorite musical genres. Although, could life be equated to a song? Is there a song to life? What is the music of life, other than being a question by a random door from the Elder Scrolls series? It's a rather good question. In 2012, for some reason it was Gangnam Style, a song that reached across nationalities and across language barriers. Something that unites us, us all in that year. And something else that eventually unites us all is a little darker. It's death. We all know that death is coming for us all. The clock is ever ticking down for us, or perhaps it's increasing, like measures in a song or time in a video. It's impossible to tell, really, for a non-measurable, human-made concept. But how can you measure a life? There's a song from the musical Rent that says there's 525,600 minutes in a year, and then a bunch of other non-time-related measurements. But how can we measure a year? For Earth, we figure it out, but how about when we get to other planets? Will it work for there, them? How can we measure our time and existence? Confused enough? Don't worry, I am too. Life can be very confusing especially for someone that has knowledge of limited time existence for themselves. Down at the bottom of the video, there's the timer, and that's my current time for existence. I start existence when you hit play, and I'll go away when the video ends. Not unlike bringing your favorite artist back for just a couple minutes longer for when you replay their songs if they've passed on to the other side. Back on track, though. What was I talking about? Music? Death? How about both? A song that almost always encompasses death is the Dies Irae. A moviegoer would be quite versed in this musical motif, which is a musical notes used to signify something to happen. And the Dies Irae, meaning the Day of Wrath, is to signify bad things to happen, essentially. And speaking of bad things, death is a tragedy and inevitable. Nothing can escape the icy blackness of non-existence. Not you, not me. No. If anything, it should give it more meaning. To play a little bit harder, to put your heart fuller into the project. We know the end is coming, so live a fuller life in spite of this. However, before existence, there was nothing. So the answer to what is the music of life is silence, my friend. For in the end, at the mus end of a musical piece, there's silence. When the conductor puts the baton down, turns around, but before the clapping of the audience, there's nothing. But before the end, there's a lot more. In the all-encompassing blackness of silence, the ever-blinding and cacophony of white lights to the raffle reds and happy yellows coming next. This is just in the first act or movement of life that this happens. For life isn't just one movement, it's a collection of acts. A rap city, if you would. Also, just wondering that rap city, what that rap city actually means. So life goes. You're created. Learn some things. Some other things happen, and then you're gone. Let's forget that for a couple sentences and think about something happier. How nice silence can be. It's all encompassing, like a blanket that whispers sweet nothings into your ears. On the opposite end of the spectrum are those that do not like the darkness, those that fear the dark, these people are the ones that want to stay in the harsh, bright, blinding lights. I guess I just don't understand them. Maybe the white lights are comforting to them. Anyways, back to the nice darkness. What should be obvious by this point is I have absolutely no idea which direction I'm pushing or pulling this content in. I started my existence about four minutes ago, going to be gone a couple more, and since my instance is probably halfway over, I should get ready for the end. My script is now telling me that I'm about at the 420 mark, but soon the clock will reach zero, or perhaps just the end. I always enjoyed media that broke the fourth wall, self-referential <coughs> self -referential parodies and whatnot. Speaking of, I'm not going to be around much longer. I'll say it again. At the bottom of this video is the slider, and when that reaches the right side, I'm going to be gone. So there's another Latin phrase I remember, which is literally meaning remember death or memento more. Sometimes it can be equated to an item to remind someone of their own mortality. 
I have behind me two ghost type Pokemon plushies, and they're more leaders to the afterlife. Sorry, was that a little too excessive? I just needed to fill up time. Ever wonder about the point of guitar solos and pop songs? I Even I think they're a little silly. I mean, the legend man beast John Petrucci notwithstanding, obviously. But these section of songs are typically called bridges. And they're not always a guitar solo, but a divergence from the original material. Sometimes written in a different key or just give a break from the original concept and musicality of the songs. Sometimes the bridges are used to segue into other thoughts or ideas. So to bridge into another idea. I may only be Data now, but I haven't lost my humanity. No. The only one, the one who wrote and spoke this, was fully human. They're alive and well and certainly celebrating being done with this video. It doesn't mean I haven't learned anything within the chaos of the start or the end of the video. I've learned much, actually. What I learned is that life starts randomly out of nowhere. Sometimes we know when the end is coming for us. Sometimes we can guess when the end is coming, traditionally. But there's other times we get our expectations subverted. Songs can end abruptly, and slides can advance before I'm ready. But everything that has started must come to an end. We are trapped within these set points. It is within the chaos of these points that life happens. There is not a song to life. Life is a song. But in the end, it all ends.